Hey, and welcome back to another twin motion video. In this video, we're going to look at creating panoramas, but not just creating panoramas, but exporting those as a panorama set and what you can do with that. So if at any point in this video, you happen to learn something, which hope you do, then please, please demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. It tells me that you might have liked the video too. Okay, getting into it now. What do we do? Well, we've covered panoramas before, and that's it's fairly simple. If you know how to build an image, if you know how to build, in some cases, a video, it mainly has everything to do with basically where you're standing, of course, but the the export settings, but beyond that, the, the other settings for the view. And so if we just go into any view and we look at the image settings, we're, we're going to get that kind of a thing. And it, it has everything to do with the render settings, lighting, location, all that, which that's fine, not a big deal. We're not really gonna focus on that because I have other videos on those types of things the quality, everything like that. So when it comes to panoramas, you can see I've got a couple here. I'm gonna get rid of this one. So we just have one panorama. And like I said, we're, we're standing in a location and the idea is that I, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks if we look all the way around, because obviously a panorama will allow us to look 360 all the way around, which is really great. And not only will we get to do that, but with a panorama set, we'll get to have really as many as we want and we can include those in a set. And so the ultimate goal is that we have a set and what we get with that set is that it's rendered for us in the cloud, which is even better. That's awesome. We don't have to do it and take up hardware, time, electricity here. And we can have that done in the cloud seemingly for free, especially at this point it's free. But when it's done, we have a link and we can send that link to anyone and they can go and click and basically move around your project, see what those panoramas are from different perspectives. You can change the video settings, the different types of export settings, whatever if you want. Obviously, if you're going for, I might set it up as like different times of day in the same place to get an idea of what it looks like as the day progresses or another example being, I'm going to keep the settings for that time of day the same and then just move across the project and that's what I'll do here in this case. So what I'm going to do is basically take this panorama and I'll ultimately name this one and what I'm going to do is duplicate it. I'll move to another location in my project and then create a full panorama set. And so once I have those panoramas made because you don't need to watch me do that. But once I have those made, we can then go about creating a set. So I'll be right back once I not only have more panoramas, but have an actual set to work with. All right, so I've got these panoramas made. I've got them renamed, everything. We're, we're basically ready to go, we're ready to export. So how do we do this? What, how do we make this set? Well, I can come into export, and this is where we'll see at the right side, you see cloud, early access, and then we have the panorama set. Well, I can't click on anything here, and you might think, well, heck, why can't I do this? I just want to export my panoramas. Well, <laughs> we have to add a panoramas that we have to a set. And we can do that over here, of course, in the media, and we can see there's panorama set at the end. I don't know why this is the case. It just happens to be the case, but we have to basically take what we have here in the panoramas and put it in a set. So it ends up being like the presenter. If you're you know, curious about that, I have a video on presenter as well. It's basically saying, all right, well, we need to make a panorama set. And of course, I would name this if you, you I'd recommend you do that. But then it says click to add media. And so for the presenter, it has all kinds of media. So like you could add just straight images or video clips or panoramas, anything like that, because it's all just kind of media in general. In this case, it's only going to show us the panoramas we have. So in this case, I have four and I, I would like to start out with those. So maybe we start out with any, we can reorder these later, but regardless, I want to select all four of them because of course, like, why would I not? So I can hold shift, select them all. And then here we go, drag them all in. Boom, so I've got my four. I can reorder these at this point because we're kind of creating like a set, literally a set, but not only just a set, but like determining the order that we ultimately export them, which is nice. And I probably want this outdoor to be first and then you know, maybe the corridor and then finally up there. Yeah, you know, like that's fine, it doesn't matter. So with all of this, we can now finally go to our export and hey, look, we have options here. And with this cloud, I wanna rename this of course, cause I don't want that whole set called panorama set or anything like that. So of course, let's go ahead and rename this. So I call it design panoramas. Great, good to go. I can come back to export now. Then yes, we actually want to select this and then we're really, we're good to go. I don't 
I don't want to export any of this on its own. I just want to export only this cloud, which is great. So let's click on more before we do that. And we can see the resolution. So I wouldn't worry about max lighting. We've done another video on that one. And it doesn't seem to do much, nor is it worth the extra time, in my opinion. So as far as resolution, because this is a 360 degree image and you it's not just one window that we'd see right here. It's a ton of these. I don't know how many this would be, but we want at least 6K, which is 2K is currently, you know, the 1920 by 1080 that you're used to seeing on most monitors as far as resolution. Um, so having that amount of pixels spread across a full 360 image would look awful. So I wouldn't go any lower than 6K in my opinion, but I would say if you have the resources to, well, it's not even so much resources, more of time, I would go to 8K. And so why not do that? So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click export and we'll see what happens after that. And that is done finally. And I say finally because we initially started this at 8K and that was going to take something like 30 or 40 hours. Then I went down to 6K and that was going to take about eight hours. And so I did 6K and I came back after leaving it all night and the result was halfway done, not even halfway done. So I put it down to 2K. And honestly, that's not the end of the world. Like, really, it isn't. Unless you're displaying this 360 image on some sort of wall or like some ridiculous monitor. Or or if you're taking it into VR, that's kind of the... Eh. If you're looking at it in VR, you might consider going higher than 2K. But still, doing the 2K for four 360 shots took about five to six hours. So... Eh. Be aware of that now it could be my system i don't know my processor is very old i have a new graphics card which I, I thought would be enough but who the heck knows and honestly it's in the cloud so i would think it's rendering in the cloud but at the same time it says it's not rendering in the cloud it's rendering here and it's using up my hardware so you know it it's going to be on your local system from the best of my ability the best thing i can tell is that it is so just be aware of that and my i hope that uh, me telling you all of that is enough to give you an idea of what to expect from this. So when we're done and it's finally done, it will leave a prompt up that says, go to your twin motion cloud. If you don't see that, or if you close it or any, something like that, you can always come up to file, go to your actual account as, that you're signed in and you can see, look, open twin motion cloud. So I'll click that. We'll pull this over. And now we can see, look, we have our design panoramas. We can view it. Uh, here's the link that we can easily copy. You can even embed this into a website if you want to. Yeah, it's up to you. Like if you're a firm and you have a website per, you have a web page per project or all this, this might be cool to embed. It'd be nice. Um, you can have it password enabled or not, or just literally just copy to everyone. So what I'm going to do actually is leave this in the description below so you can actually see what this looks like. And as far as I can tell, this is not going to expire. I think it used to expire. Um, but you know, it doesn't look like it will. So I can click view and it, you can see what happens. We get another window it sets it's loading. It's pretty quick to load. I've got decent internet, but you know, and then we're prompted with some really nice, you know, instructions to navigate, which there aren't many. I'm basically just going to look around and I'm going to zoom in. If I come to the next one, I can just teleport nearby if I need to, but I'm not really going to work on that. Um, I, this is nice if you're using a trackpad, which I'm not. I wouldn't recommend it necessarily, but it's still really easy. You're just looking around. So look at this. I mean, I will say the quality is pretty great, even though it's 2K. Just kind of know that it, this is online, you know, um, and it loaded so quickly because it is online. A little blurry in some cases, but, you know, I wish the resolution were higher, but at the end of the day, it's not bad. I can always zoom in. I can zoom in quite far, it looks like. And even zoom out to a degree where I get a little more field of view, which eh, kind of <laughs> obscures things a bit. But if I come over to the right, I can expand this and see all four of my shots here, which is really great. I can easily jump to another one. Like, this looks really nice for being online. Anyone can have this link. It's it's really good to see. And not only that, I can I can turn up all of these different things here, these uh, different settings. I turn these hotspots on or off. Not that... I really need to do that, but it's just something that I might keep it auto transition style. You know, there's not a lot here that we can look at if we want to look at the controls again. So that's not a big deal, but really this, the quality is decent. It's pretty good. I can easily jump to all the different photos that I want to, and it doesn't look too bad. I'm pretty impressed with this, knowing that it's online in the cloud and I can share this with anyone. 
especially in the description below, then, you know, this is a great tool. And honestly, if you do this again, it's going to show up in this cloud. You're going to have another one here and you just update the link. You send them a new link and that's it. That's really easy to do. So I am a fan of this. Um, especially if you're talking to clients a lot, having them look through spaces like this is pretty easy. Heck, even if you want to use this instead of like actually twin motion or presenter as a way to like talk through a view, a design during a meeting, this is perfectly viable because you probably have internet because you're online and you could have sent this link to the client ahead of time. So they have the link and they can walk around and look at it with you. So really great stuff. Really, really great. So I, I am impressed. You can obviously full screen this, which I think is a really nice appeal. Like I, this literally is presenter now for all intents and purposes. I'm, it's obviously not live. It's an image, but it's rendered with path tracing. That's the coolest part. We don't have to sit here and watch the path tracing update or this or that. We can really get an idea of what to expect because we don't have to watch the path tracer go and we actually get the quality of the path tracer. So that is going to do it for this video. We looked at the panorama, panorama sets, really nice stuff. Uh, I honestly don't use them enough, so I recommend that you do because it is pretty good. As, as you can see, the quality that we can get out of here is really nice. And the fact that you can share it is so easy to do. Uh, keep clients up to date. Again, if you want to look at this yourself, in the description below is where it will be. I will see you in the next Twin Motion video. Have a wonderful day, and thank you very much for watching.